Yo, what up fellow friends and family? My name is Josh and welcome back to another video. So today, ladies and gentlemen, like I said in the title, I am creating new subspecies slash variants slash alternate forms for some of the monsters in Monster Hunter. But of course, I couldn't do it alone, so I asked a couple of uh, personal friends as well as some Discord members, and I took a couple from the comment sections. So we're just gonna hop right into it and create some subspecies because it's gonna be fun. So the first one, uh, this one is from my friend Tato. Uh, he also runs Thinkut Gaming on YouTube, so I'll put a link in the description below. But he wants a Brachydeos that has the water element. So we're gonna take this one. And it's very simple because the way when you when you mess with this, it messes with all the colors. So actually, this right here is perfect. Um, but the slime is a little bit too explosive still. So we're gonna go with that overall color, but we're gonna change the color of the slime. So this is how I do it, right? Um, this is actually looking really good already. I freaking and see, like this is so cool. You just mess with the colors and it looks great. So let's go with a more. Oh, perfect. So we're gonna take that blue color, right? Um, and I guess I just have to erase the entire body in a sense. So give me a second and I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Now, Brachydeos is already like a blue color. It's more of an indigo. So what I'm doing is I'm making it a brighter, more pretty blue. And we're going with that. Oh, come on. And I gotta get the snout a little bit because I don't want it. And I, I kind of have to do a little bit here with the uh, the um, the slime as well, because I don't want the red to kind of be sticking out. I guess a little bit of red won't be too bad. Um, but let's go with that, just a little bit more. Maybe get rid of a little bit of right there, and then boom, right there, perfect. So. I guess that, yeah, yeah, no, that looks pretty good. I think I think that is a perfect representation of a water Brachydeus. Now, the way he wanted, the way he described it is basically it has the water element that, like, uh, Namio has, where it's very slippery and slimy. And you could say that it explodes uh, over time. I don't know. I don't have the super details about it. I'm just creating the color schemes for it. And perfect. There we go. So I'll, I'll go ahead and open another one. So the next one he mentioned, a lot of them are for my friend Tato, because he's just a freaking amazing person in general. So the next one he has is a nominal, but only a physical attacker. It doesn't have any elements whatsoever, and he wanted it to be in the forest, like a forest color scheme. So that one's going to be pretty simple, because pretty much, because I already messed with the color schemes here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, that was a really disgusting one, but... <laughs> but basically, yeah, with Namio, it's pretty simple, and I can't find the picture. Where is it? Um, here it is. I, you can see I already kind of messed with it a little bit. But, okay, so here we have Namio. Um, so, total correction, again, hue saturation. We're going to go with, like I said, a forest type of color. Now, I don't want to make it too foresty. I think, I think... I think that one works pretty well, but the blue kind of sets it off. If I move it a little bit more this way, the colors kind of turn more purplish. And I kind of like that, but I don't like the shade of green, so I'm going to kind of desaturate everything a little bit. I think desaturating makes it a little bit easier on the eyes. Maybe I could actually add some more saturation on another layer. But I like that I like that color scheme on, on this uh, Namio. I think that looks really good. But let's go ahead and change the the color just a little bit, and then I'll add some, and I'll, I'll blend it in. See, like, actually, that doesn't look too bad either. Um, I mean, honestly, there's just a bunch of things I could do with Namio. Like I said, her, her color scheme, his color, whatever you want to call it, his, his color scheme is just amazing in general. So if I do this, it kind of makes it more purple. And I guess I could make the head just more purple in general, because it's very, obviously, I'm not the best. So it's very difficult for me to um, basically change all of the colors, all of the luminescent lights that Namio has. So I kind of just have to do simple things here and there. But I think, yeah, I think we're already done with this. I mean, I don't really see what else to do. I mean, I guess I could buff up the arms a little bit. No, yeah, but this is the color scheme I'm going with Namio. And honestly, uh, let me let me save it real quick, and then I'll show you some other color schemes. Um, okay, but anyways, let's move on to the next monster. Um, we have... So Tato also said a Ruiner Nergigante with electricity. Okay, so again with Ruiner, you can actually come up with really cool looking colors. Um, so basically, with an electric electric type of uh, 
theme, we need more, I guess, I was gonna say yellow, but orange, I don't know about you guys, orange kind of looks like a an electric type. Personally, for me, I guess I could change the eyes to be a little bit more uh, electri electrified. I don't know what the term is, but you get what I'm saying. But no, I like this color scheme. Let me mess around with other ones. Let me see. Ooh, that looks good. That isn't what we're looking for, but that looks really good. Pink? Oh, there's so many options. Guys, if you have any other suggestions for like new subspecies or things like that, let me know. I'll be more than happy to make a couple of episodes on this because this is just fun. Oh, there's our uh, yellow actually, but I kind of like I kind of like the tint of orange, or if that's even the correct color. So we're gonna go with that one, and you know what I will do? Okay, so here's what I'll do. So we'll go back to the orange color. We're gonna go back to the orange color, and then we're going to um, well, let me get rid of the top layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase part of the top layer, and so so that some of the yellow underneath will show up. So let's go down. No, that's the wrong way. So we'll go a little bit here. I guess I'll saturate it just a little bit so that they kind of look like they're glowing. Maybe, I don't know, no, that's too bright. Um, there we go, okay, so there's that. And then we put this back on top. But we're, we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to erase some of... Now obviously it doesn't look like it's changing months, but like look look right here. It kind of changes it a little bit, I guess, I don't know. You can, you can see it, I hopefully, as I'm changing it. Um, like I said, this is very basic things. Like, I'm not doing anything super amazing. Like, I'm just changing the color and then I'm erasing certain colors that just don't match. But I, I like the orange on the face, so I'm gonna keep that. And then we're gonna do that. Now, I could add a aura, but I don't know, because I was looking for auras earlier, but I couldn't find like a good freaking like aura. I guess I could take an aura from another monster. Give me one second. You know what, hold on. I'll see if I can find something. So I guess, Instead of having an electrified aura, we can go with like thunderbugs. Okay, there we go. And then I'll, I'll, I'll obviously make them a little bit more transparent. But I like I like. Okay, so let me uh, let me move this one a little bit this way, and then I'll move this one a little bit more out towards here. And then what I'll do is I will merge these down below, and I'll distort them a little bit, I guess. Um. Cause I don't like the perfect sphere, sphere, sphere. I don't like the perfect spherical shape, so I'll just kind of make them blend in a little bit more. And because they're kind of transparent, you really won't be able to tell. And if you do tell, well, don't comment about it. Um, and then I guess I'll make them a little bit less transparent, and then we will um change the color of them. Cause the blue is nice, but I want it to match more of what the color has. Of what Ruiner has. Oh, that's that's very nice. Here, let's go a little bit more orange, and then we'll go saturate a little bit, and then boom. So there we go. There's our electric uh, Ruiner Nergigante. He also mentioned that, um, so he can launch spikes like the regular one, but they stick to the ground, and if you don't destroy them, when he does any of his ultra attacks, those spikes on the ground kind of amplify uh, overall his big attacks. So it can, it can come to the point where it's like Behemoth or Safijiva, where if you don't destroy them, it covers the entire area in electricity, and then you pretty much die. So I think that's a really good idea. Tato, you are just a creative genius, and I freaking love you, man. You're great. Again, I'll put his link in the description below. And yeah, let's go on to the next one he mentioned. He mentioned a Nargakuga with the poison element. So let me see here. Obviously, the, <laughs> the freaking obvious idea is to just make it purple, and that looks good. Let me desaturate it a little bit. Actually, that looks better, because I like the little bit of, of the black fur showing off. It's like it ate too many poisonous uh, monsters and things like that. That's a pretty basic one. I don't know really what else to change. I guess I could make the mouth a little bit more poisoned. Um, let me see if I have some drool that I can find. Give me one second. Oh, here he is. Okay. So we're going to take his drool, and we're going to basically put that on the Nargakuga. So let's go ahead and do that. Do 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 do. I like the way the drool looks. That may be a weird way to say things, but it's okay. Um, so we'll take that, and we will... I gotta put down my... I actually have, like, a little drawing board thing. So Where did I... Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So we'll just kind of put it on the edge of the mouth there. You guys can see that, right? <laughs> it's a little bit... It's a little bit kind of, you know... 
I'll blend it out a little bit. Give me a second. So let me just uh, blend it out just a little bit so it just kind of looks like it's from the mouth. All right. Th oh, that actually looks really good. Look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look. So it looks like it's drooling. You can't really see it. Um, but it's, it's, it's drooling. Okay. You can see that. So it's drooling a little bit. I am the best at Photoshopping things, even though this isn't even Photoshop. But there we go. That's the, uh, that's the Nargakuga that, yeah, no, that's pretty good. I actually just like the purple overall. You could say that it, it got into a fight with a poisonous monster and it manifested into this version, or it ate too many poisonous things in a different environment whether it's prey was poisonous or things like that but basically we have a poisonous narcacuga uh its bites inflict poison and things like that no that looks really good um devil joe you can go away because we are not doing you today unless if you guys want one that would be fine let me open up another one okay so the last one today is we are going to do a teostra that has the ice type now for those of you who don't know in Frontier, there's something called the origin subspecies, not subspecies, origin species, where it's basically like the root of certain monsters. So, um, I'll put up a picture of him, I can't remember his name, but that's basically the ancestor of Teostra, Lunastra, and things like that. So basically, Tato said he wants it to revert back to the way it was. So we're gonna go ahead and take Teostra and do that. Now, it's the very simple things we can do here. Um, we can just make his entire color palette blue. If my computer will load, there we go. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. Um, That is the wrong way, right? Oh, no, no, it is the right way. Okay, so there we go. That that pretty much does it, honestly. But I, I'll, I'll go a little bit further, okay? So I'll change the the shade of blue on the rest of the body. I like the cooler blue on the, the snout, on the mane, on the tail. But I think on the wings, it should be a little bit darker. So let me go ahead and duplicate the layer. Let me go ahead and change, um, I guess, not the saturation. Oh, maybe desaturating the wings a little bit wouldn't be too bad of, my, of an idea. But let me go a little bit more. Oh, there we go. So that, so we'll go with that and then we will actually, so we'll make those the, the corner. Or Excuse me, what am I saying? You know what, you know what I'm saying. That's going to be the center and then we'll go ahead and erase the wings a little bit so it's a little bit more darker. So we'll, we'll go with that. I'm like, oh, dude, it's so much fun just messing around with colors, seriously. Like I said, if you guys have any other ideas for subspecies or things like that, or variants, whatever you want me to do, I'll do my best to replicate it. But this is, this is a lot of fun, personally, for me. I really enjoy doing this. So, I guess we'll make the paws a little bit more darker blue, too. I don't, I guess the edge of the tail, because why not? You know, why not? And yeah, no, that looks very good. Something I do actually want to do is I want to actually make the the very center of the mane. I, you, you probably can't see my cursor. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but the very center of the mane, the brightest. So that's what we're going to do. So let me go ahead and zoom in on the mane and then let me get rid of it. Yeah, so you see how it's a little bit brighter? So that's what I was going for. Um, let me actually, because it is a little bit on the edge here so let me go ahead and do that it, it, subtle difference but i feel like it makes a big it, it's important okay and there we go i don't know if you guys hold on let me uh well i can't really do it because i erased the layer but um actually let me go ahead and do this i don't know if you guys can see that yeah yeah there we go so it it, it gives a little bit more contrast to the overall thing let me redo it a little bit well i'll show you the fin finished product because I, I already did it but yeah the, there is our Ice Teostra. It looks really cool. I very much like it. I, I, I dig it a lot. Looks very cool. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, those are our five. Is that five? Where's the six? Oh, that's the ball of energy. No, no one cares about that. Okay. No, but yeah, here's our five subspecies for today. A water Brachydeos, an earth type or physical Namiel. A, an electrified Runer Nere Gigante. I think this one is my favorite. Let me know which one is your favorite. Then we have a poison, uh, what's his name? Nargakuga, that's what I meant to say. You have a poison like Nargakuga. Jeez, I'm like, whatever. And then we have our Ice Teostra. Guys, this was a lot of fun to make. And if you guys did enjoy the video, let me know. Um, and if you have any other suggestions. I do have a couple more on standby, but if you guys have any, you know, you want to say like, I don't know, 
like a freaking young garuga that can do the ice element i don't i don't care you know think outside the box but yeah if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you in the next video